Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. A radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. Hearing me say it's a rigged system, but now I don't say it anymore because I won. Okay, it's true. You know, now I don't care. I don't care. (laughs) You see, it throws everyone off because politicians aren't supposed to be honest about their lying, right? You don't even get mad, you just get confused. You really do. Imagine if your boyfriend was like, baby, I didn't go to the club, I was home. Unless you were home too when uh, I was uh, somewhere else, uh, then that, uh, I, I was somewhere else, uh, that doesn't make you mad. I mean, <laughs> that's the thing, but I wasn't at the club. <laughs> and, and now with this tour, Trump is finally admitting that it was all bull He's admitting it blatantly, blatantly. Take Hillary, for example, right? Trump spent the entire campaign saying that Hillary was a dangerous criminal who had ruined the country. And for that, he was gonna lock her up. People chanted it. They held up signs. He even said it to her face at a debate. It was the one specific piece of policy he had. (laughs) But now that he's got what he wanted, Truth Trump tells it like it is. Because I heard my opponent had scheduled Michigan unexpectedly. It was like all of a sudden, with President Obama and Michelle and Bill and Hillary, and they were going to Michigan. No, it's okay. No, they got it. That plays great before the election. No, we don't care, right? (laughs) I'm sorry, what? (laughs) He even says it plays great? Just, it plays great before the election, but now we don't care? Yeah, like like everyone else was doing this for real, and he was just playing, he was just testing it out. You can even feel some people in the crowd were like, yeah, wait, we, we were playing? <laughs> Come on, I wrote that on Grandpa's tombstone. <laughs> I took that seriously. That's not even the biggest surprise. Because look, I can get going hard on your opponents, right? But Trump's campaign's central appeal was that he was an outsider. A man whose main mission was to drain the swamp. He said it all the time. He was going to get rid of the lobbyists and get rid of Wall Street money and give DC back to the people. But Truth Trump, he tells it like it is. We're going to drain the swamp of corruption. Funny how that term caught on, isn't it? I tell tell everyone, I hated it. (laughs) Somebody said, drain the swamp. I said, oh, that's so hokey. That is so terrible. I said, all right, I'll try it. So like a month ago, I said, drain the swamp. Place went crazy. I said, whoa, watch this. Then I said it again. Then I started saying it like I meant it, right? Like I meant it. (laughs) And then I said it, I started loving it. And the place loved it. It's drain the swamp. I mean, it's true. It's true. It's true, drain the swamp. You can feel the audience is going like, is, are we in on this? (laughs) I genuinely don't know why this isn't the biggest news story. The man is saying that the basic promise of his his campaign is is bullshit. (laughs) And he's saying it right to the people who believed him, as if they knew it was bullshit. And for some reason, all of this is happening after the news stopped covering his rallies. Now he's telling the truth. Just like running out there, going like, it's all here, folks. This is how I did it. You know what Trump is like? He's like a magician telling everyone how he did the trick. (laughs) And still some people are like, wow, magic. (laughs) It's magic. Ooh, magic. (laughs) Here's to a magical 2017, everybody. Magical 2017. Well, I know everybody was so happy to see 2016 go, but you know what the problem is? All the really horrible crap doesn't happen until 2017. So happy new year and welcome to it. We got 16 days before the end of the American empire. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. (laughs) Wow. I think the only person that didn't realize <laughs> that didn't realize that 2017 was the year that uh, was was going to show you just 
how bizarre 2016 was uh, is Mariah Carey because nobody could be happier than Mariah then uh, that, that that it's over. Did you see that? See now we didn't see that. I, I saw it when we got back. I got back like last night. Okay, um, and I I can't really sit. This is very different. I'm making such a sacrifice for you people today uh, to help you celebrate. Uh, you know the beginning of the end is what we're here to do. I almost want to do the whole show in Spanish from now on because you're not going to like anything that we have to tell you. I mean, it'll just sound so much nicer in romance language. So I was thinking maybe we should do the whole thing in Spanish, but uh, forget that because then people tell me, you know, go back to Costa Rica, which is fine with me. Except I can't sit. I got an ass full of Vaseline. And I know that sounds uh, almost tempting, doesn't it? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I think Mariah Carey had it rough, right? Why? Because she couldn't hear. She couldn't hear. I would love for her to do Trump's inauguration. Just recreate that whole New Year's Eve performance and screw the whole thing up anyway. Who does he get? He's got like some country band that uh, called Rich and Famous or Rich and Richer or Filthy Rich or, you know, Rich Bastards. I, I, that's who I think he got because the Rockettes said no. The Rockettes said that they were not going to lift their legs in front of a guy like that. Uh, but they did say the word. <laughs> they did. But it's so much nicer in Spanish. It uh, truly is. But, okay, so colita. Oh, and you know, so, uh, so why do I have an ass full of Vaseline? Because, okay, um, you people who wear uh, tech gear, do you know what I mean? You people who actually hike and do uh, physical things, climb mountains, ride horses, ride bicycles, up and down hills and mountains and things like that. You know what? Uh, fuck you. I, I I don't know. I don't know what you see. Okay, I love to horseback ride. That's like my only exercise. It's the only physical, you know, uh, involvement I will have. Okay, I'm not going to interact with a, a machine. I'm not going to interact. Even the one that talks to you, you know, the one that costs like twenty five hundred dollars. That uh, you know, the Peloton. I think it's called. Okay, people love that thing because you get an instructor on the TV and she yells at you like a real spin class. To, I've tried all this. I've tried hot yoga, cold yoga, silk yoga. I've tried hanging by my... I've tried, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the the Peloton, the the treadmill. the And I, I hate it all. I hate every... I'd rather not eat carbs. I'd rather just not... I'd rather live on herky-jerky is what I would rather do. See what I did there? Yeah, I would rather do that than do any physical, like physical exercise for me, as you know, unfortunately, is bending the elbow to bring the cigarette up to my lips. And that, now, and, and so this arm is kind of firm, and this one has the, you know, one that waves goodbye over and over again, never stops, hello and goodbye, all the same, it's like shalom. Uh, but I went, I, I love horseback riding, and so I went to, and I, I don't walk. Okay, we're not talking walking on the horse. I know people like to walk on a horse and they like to walk on the horse on the beach and they think that this is some somehow, you know, exercise or that this is somehow what the horse was was built to do. What mother nature na nature created the No, the horse was built to run, not even to trot, which hurts. And it's supposed to hurt because you're supposed to just say, "All right, let's get it over. Let's gallop now into the freaking sunset." So I did that wearing your tech gear. I have never worn your tech gear. Oh, the, see, look at, see, you see how I'm holding my butt all right? That's the end of the day. That's the end. Now, <laughs> I always, always, always ride the horse with denim. And, uh, you know, like an extra layer of even a, a poise pad would be a diaper, something, because I know I'm going for it. I'm running. And, and that horse that you see, that white horse that you see is uh, my horse. That's my that's Mappa. And the reason why Mappa is called Mappa is because Mappa has markings on Mappa that look like a Mappa. <laughs> it looks like a map of the world. So that's Mappa. OK. All right. So. We go down, you know, we walk through the selva, the jungle, you know, and everybody's out. Oh, it's so nice. Look at this. Oh, look, here, here's, where are the monkeys? That's all anybody wants. Where are the monkeys? I said, well, you know, you'll see them, but, uh, you know, look up, not down. Look up. They're in the trees. Everybody just thinks a monkey is just going to come and walk across the road and have a conversation with you and just hang out. No, they're up in the trees living their lives. As long as there are trees, that's where they will be. Once you cut the trees... Then they will be on the road dead, unfortunately, because there are no trees. See what I mean? Uh, but anyway, so I mean, I, I was wearing that tech gear. And I thought that meant you didn't need ropa interior. 
<laughs> I thought that meant you didn't need panties. <laughs> I thought the tech gear was all you need. Oh, my God. So, you know, we all go down to the beach and, you know, uh, Susan, uh, uh, so my friends Karen and Steve were celebrating their 40th anniversary and they wanted to walk on the beach and, you know, Howard likes to walk on it. I said, do you mind if I go ahead? I would like to run. So I, I ran for like, I don't know, I, I run like 200 meters at a time, let the horse take a break, 200 meters at a time. And I'm doing this, you know, uh, you know, all the way up and down this private beach. It's just there's nobody there and it's just so beautiful and blah, blah, blah. And I'm having the time of my life. And all of a sudden, I realized my legs are bleeding, and uh, certainly something's going on back there <laughs> because it's starting to hurt. And I've never had the. It's your damn tech gear, people. Wear the denim. The cowboys that wore the Levi's were correct. <laughs> you don't want to wear rubber pants and have it rub against your ass while you're sitting on a hot piece of leather. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. So I, I mean, I know something, but, they, but okay, so we get done with the, we, we're out there like two hours, you know, we're coming back and you can see I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm holding my, my, bu my bunda. I'm like, oh, and I don't want to complain because everybody had such a nice day because they walked up and down the beach a little bit. They found shade. They walked. Karen's horse only wanted to go swimming. <laughs> her horse only wanted to munch and swim. This is what her horse wanted. And that for her was just great. It was great. You know, she had one of those tiny little uh, 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 Costa Rican horses. I had a quarter. See, Map is a quarter horse. Map is fast. Anyway, so now we want to go to the beach. So I get into the water, and uh, all of a sudden I was like, oh, my God! Oh, my God! The in every language, in German, in English, in fr languages I never even spoke or heard, and things I didn't even know I knew. Because the salt is burning, it's burning, oh my God, it's burning. Well, I finally get back to the house, and I think I'll dunk it in the pool. Won't that be cool and refreshing? Oh no, then the chlorine starts eating, and it turns out uh, I have no skin left on my bunda. It's just, it's going to take years to grow back. And so I, I celebrate the beginning of 2017 with a raw ass. Now for you, it's a metaphor. For me, it's real life. Here's my prediction for 2017. By the time my ass heals, Trump will be impeached. Okay? <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy freaking New Year. But it could be worse. I could be Mariah Carey right now. <laughs> oh, poor Mariah. Oh, my God. Don't we live in the 21st century where tech is supposed to work? I don't, I don't know. And she's telling the dance. I, I watched this on the on the replay because down there, you know, we only have um, we only have Sky TV, which is the dish. And of course, if there's a cloud, then there's no TV, which is kind of fine with me because I don't go down there to watch the TV. But all you have down there is CNN International, and they like they by the time New Year's came to America. They were already done because it was Australia, you know, China, it was Indonesia, it was, you know. And by the time they got to America, they were like, oh, all right. You know? They didn't have Kathy uh, no, and Anderson? absolutely not, no. And I, and I asked mom today, I asked my mother today, I should have recorded her. I asked my mother today, you know, um, what did you do New Year's? And she said, no, you know, I, uh, the people I love were not here. And so I sat in a room. And I watched television. I said, but that's what everybody did. Jessica did that too. I did that too. Everybody stayed in because nobody wants to be on the road when everybody's drinking. It's a good idea to stay in New Year's Eve. Do you know? I said, I've never. She said, I said, so did you watch Kathy and, uh, and, and Anderson? She goes, you know, they talk like you. They just talked and talked. I didn't, uh, I, so I said, well, I heard Mariah Carey. She said, oh, I didn't see that. I said, did you make it to New Year's? <laughs> did you stay up to mid? She said, I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I did. So I went to watch Mariah Carey to see like what the hell happened. And apparently uh, she, she just was, she had a meltdown. And this whole sound system had a meltdown. And so she was talking to her dancers going, I swear to God, she said to one day, you flip me because you know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, that's exactly how I feel. I would like to be flipped right now and do the show upside down because sitting is killing me. Killing me. 
But uh, it started out 2017 the perfect the perfect way. I think it's 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 going to be a complete crap fest, followed by lies, angers, recrimination, finger pointing. But my ass will heal, and he will be impeached. So I'm pretty satisfied so far. I'm good. I'm good. You have horse burn and what that ki- Laura in Mountain View, California. That is me. Hello. Uh oh. Oh, Randy, I had no idea we were so simpatico today. What, do, uh, I am a first yeah. Go ahead. I am a first time long time. Oh. Hi. Happy New uh-huh. Year. Thank you. No, it's not so far. So um I too am a horseback rider and uh I I suggest that you just go ahead and buy the riding overpriced riding breeches. Yeah, I, they, they, I, I, I've never had this yeah. problem before. You know, I ride all the time. I never had this problem yeah. before, ever, never, ever. But I tried the tech gear. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah, I, don't do that. Oh, no. You don't want rubber on your bunda when you're sitting on a hot piece of leather. Whoever thought of this was insane. You wear, um, you wear, it, you wear Levi's and you wear a pair of maiden form granny panties. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah, something, and I, you, something cottony and breathy. Well, I'm one of those English ladies, so yeah, I, write uh, you know, English I, too. I go with the breeches. I, I, so, I write English, too. But before we turn this into, you know, equine central and bore everyone, because um, <laughs> I know how that goes, believe me. Um, I can't ride this week because 2016 going into 2017 gave me another gift that keeps on giving. And I also can't sit on my ass right now because at the age of 54, after 15 years of completely... Um, um, true to my husband, marriage, and I have gotten my first case of genital herpes. Oh my God! Oh, my, he's che- he's cheating upon you. No, yes. no. I was told by told by the doctor you can harbor this crap for decades. So what's happening is so you got chicken pox. My twenties. Yeah. Oh my God! It's on my bunda. It's on. It's on my my. It's everywhere. Um, what and a, I, you are the first, first phone call of 2017. And somehow I think everybody's going to remember this show started off with a woman with genital herpes. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. You know, I, I wanted to be a first time long time, you know, first time long time with, you know, real <laughs> power. So, you know, I'm hoping I get over this crap. You know, in time for Trump's first impeachment as well. Oh my God! So, All yeah, right. well, so we'll far, time it. Well, seventeen could suck it. <laughs> so far, yeah, we'll have to time it. We'll see. We'll see what happens first. Your genital herpes clears up. My bunza clears up, or he gets impeached. We'll have to time. It. Oh Jesus! It couldn't happen <laughs> fast enough. Oh, wow, man. Anyway, wow. I did not expect all be. that. Thank you so much. You just made me feel so much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody's got to feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Laura. Oh. Thank you for calling me. You're welcome. All right. No have problem. A, have a happy new year. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're back. We're back. (laughs) Hello, you bastards. Hi, bastards. Didn't take long for 2017 for the New Year's baby to crap in his diaper, did it? (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, and now, you know, they have both houses of Congress. They got the presidents. Wait, I have the whole list of the cabinet members. And today we got the new SEC chairman, the, 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 the head cop for Wall Street. Oh, you're going to love this one. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like, and, and you know what happened. I don't need to tell you, do I? I mean, I know everybody's been on vacation, but you do know day one, the Congress tried to uh, castrate the ethics watchdog. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on with the region, with the nether regions in this year so far. But it was a complete disaster for them because Republicans, while they try to do these big things or these, they always screw it up. And it backfires. Go to randyroads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.